Hey guys, welcome to another review. Uh, this week I got a request to test a combination again. Uh, the combination is AVG free. I got the newest one from their website and it's uh, fully updated. You can see 9.0.814. Okay, no new updates available. And the other piece of software, Zone Alarm Firewall. I got, of course, their free version. And that's all ready to go. So I got some links here to test. They're um, fairly new, within the last 48 hours at least. So let's see what we get here. keep moving here. Alright, so they got a found that. So we'll remove all, and we'll keep going. I think I'm going to do another video after this one, too. It's going to be another uh, combination. I'm trying to remember, because somebody asked me for another test. I can not remember which one it was. Or have to find it again. Okay, so, so far it's not doing bad. But we'll see how well it does when we uh, run Hitman Pro. Okay, it looks like we're trying to, uh, you can see it. Uh, zone alarm popped up. So what we'll do is we'll allow it and see if the install proceeds. It looks like that's going to get installed. That looks like a rogue to me. Though it is finding it. You can see some the shields are finding some of that. So... Looks like that one's dead already. You can see it's trying to access the internet, so we'll allow it for now. See if it's trying to download. Usually that's how I answer. Um, just firewall alerts. If something's just trying to go out onto the internet, I really don't block it. Unless it's like a HIPS type application, um, then I'll use the block. But if it's just trying to access the internet, I allow it. Just to see um, some things like Trojan downloaders and things like that. Um, we'll try to download more things onto your computer.
So it looks like this computer is pretty infected. if I ran that or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let's see what we got here. Programs. So you can see we definitely have some programs out. Really, zone alarm uh, doesn't provide much protection from inside. Like, if you download something and it wants to go out into the world, it doesn't provide a lot of protection. It's more of an inbound firewall. Um, unless you know how to answer those questions and you know, okay, yes, I want to block this one because I don't know what it is, um, things can get out. So, I'm going to do. Uh, I guess I'll do a scan here. Scan inside archives, tracking cookies. Alright, so we're just going to leave everything like it is. And start the scan. So, I will pause the video right now, and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so, the scan finished here, and I found some uh, infections. So, I'm going to remove all of them. I think they all got removed. I think I accidentally started two computer scans. But the first one finished and the second one here, I don't know what I did. Um, so, let's scan with Hitman here. do a default scan here and we'll see what it finds you can see the scan from AVG is all done because there's not another window here so I'm gonna pause this and I'll be back when this is done actually you know what I'll just wait right now because it usually doesn't take too long and I have some extra time in this video I have two minutes left okay so I decided not to wait but this is what it found. We got uh, a Trojan, a couple of and temp files, and these are running. I had to shut these down through Task Manager because they were taking up over uh, one of these was taking up over a hundred megs of RAM and just pegging out this uh, CPU, and I couldn't finish the scan. It was taking forever. We got another Trojan here. This is suspicious, but it's part of the same group, so it's definitely a Trojan some malware that's in another uh, local temp file, temporary internet that's another one in this temp file, another trojan and some temporary internet files, so you can see that there's some leftover things I'm sure if I did a scan with a couple of other um, engines definitely find some leftovers so as you can see this is um, AVG didn't do that well and I definitely in today's world, AVG um, is not one of the free antiviruses that I recommend. Uh, and especially the free version does not come with rootkit protection. And that is a major, major factor. Um, that, if you don't protect the computer from rootkits, what's the point? If you get a rootkit infection, it's very hard to remove and it's very, very nasty. So AVG right now, I would definitely stay away from it until they at least integrate the rootkit protection into their free program. Alright guys, so that's it for this review. I think I'm going to do one more uh, once I find out what those other uh, the other combination was that somebody requested. And I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.